Hi guys and welcome to the home of Cinch YouTube, Rockingham Raceway, a place we've used quite a few times now for some of our videos, but I don't think we've done a very good job of shouting about how awesome it is just yet. But today we're going to change all of that, and not just with me yapping on about how much I love the asphalt or the track layout or the tuna sandwiches in the track cafe, but with someone you might know from the world of car video. You know we're driving this mate. Really? MX-5. I'm six foot two you know. It's off top. So Yanni, welcome to our lovely little racetrack, Rockingham Raceway. You haven't been here for a while, you've been here before, right? Many, many years ago, and um, it looks incredible, and it's weird because yeah. there's no one here, so we've got the whole track to ourselves. It's mad, it's just us and the geese. There's a flock out there, so let's hopefully not hit them later on. But we're bringing you here today because we wanted to celebrate, firstly, having this circuit and the fact that it isn't a car park like a lot of people think. And we wanted to celebrate the fact that we purchased a slightly leggy, but I think quite lovely, Mark III Mazda MX-5. Okay something you're probably going to squeeze into. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm six foot two. I'm just looking, thinking how far back does that seat go? But OK, it's cool. It's fabric roof. If your head has to push up on the fabric a bit, totally fine, totally fine. And your lid obviously is going to make you even taller. But we thought, why not set ourselves our first challenge for a little series that we might have been thinking up? Sam versus Yanni, head to head. Doo -doo -doo. On circuit, who's fastest? Even though I've got way more experience of this track, I have to admit, I've driven here probably every two weeks for the past four months. You haven't driven here for like moons, 10 years, 10 maybe years. longer. Yeah. But I don't like to lose. Exactly. So I'm a bit, a, bit, a bit competitive. I like to win. So it's on, it's game on, I don't mind. I'll give you a helping hand out on track, show you some pointers, show you a few of the tricks of the trade. I'm sure you'll pick it up pretty swiftly. Okay, let's go around first, show me and let's get it on. Let's see if we can get you in a car first. Good luck. I'm gonna need it. Oh. <laughs> Before you ask, no, this Mazda MX-5 isn't a cinch.co.uk car, as a 2010 Mark III is too old and, with a light coating of uh, patina, it's too rough around the edges to make the cut. Our digital showroom is reserved for only the most mint examples of Mazda's little sports car. No, our Mark III here arrives as a Rockingham track hack, and Yanni's the first to get a go in it. Oh, and before we get to it, please do click that subscribe button if you haven't already. We've got loads of cool content coming up, and it'd be great to have you along for the ride. And that's it, we're out. Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest, my, my head is like, is it in the top, I think? Yeah, your head is, yeah, you are snug. No, right. what? Roof down. I think we've got to do it. I've got to put my jacket on. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Oh, that's that was easy, wasn't it? There you go, that's better. It's a 20th anniversary model, that's why. It is, it's she very does, slow, isn't it? She does go, but you it's, have to really, it's, really it's very wind slow it up. to get it. You've got yeah. to wind it up. Well, all of the power's above five, so you've got to just rev the hell out of it. See, look, I'm, I'm at 6,000, really. Proper. You are a late breaker, Yanni. Jesus. <laughs> Graze on the brakes and then back on the power. No, I think it was just off the accelerator. I, I reckon go quite wide into this, because then, you, you, then you'll be wider. on the power earlier on the exit. And then coming out, yeah. Yeah, and then you can use all of this runoff here. You can even go over the zigzags. <laughs> yeah, this is quick, this corner. I reckon you can come in wider there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do you feel the car floating? It just starts. That's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> Bit of lawn. <laughs> Bit of grass cutting. Oh, no, no. We'll be right. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that Woof. was a bit slower on that. Bit of grass, that Bit of grass cutting. Uh, you put, yeah. <laughs> I want it, to be fair, the grass looks a little bit long. Yeah, it does need a bit of trimming, actually. Why don't you go off there as well? <laughs> right, Jan, so we've both been out for our practice laps. You did a few more laps than I did, but I have many more months of experience here. Many Maybe. more thousands of laps compared to me. Oh, I haven't kept count, but yeah, quite a lot. I'll give you that. <laughs> How are you feeling about going out with a stopwatch on you? I feel good. The weather's lovely, the track's dry, the car's quite nice. actually much better yeah. than I thought it would be. It's really, really fun to drive. And it's on rubbish tyres. So, listen, it makes it more fun. It does, and it does mean that our lap time should be quite entertaining to drive and watch, hopefully. Who wants to go first? Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, go so rock, then. paper, scissors, shoot, yeah? Go on, shoot. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. First to one? Oh, uh, yeah, go on then. First to one. Right. <laughs> oh. And that's one nil to me. I didn't know that actually counted. <laughs> <laughs> you can go first. No, do a practice start. You right there, mate? <laughs> He's already panicked. 
Practice start, practice start. Watch and learn, he says, having never done a practice start in an MX-5. I want to see some tyres smoking. Oh. That was slow. Come on, engine. Here we go, first bend. Big, oh, that's not a gear. <laughs> Did you just crunch the gears into second, mate? You don't immediately become a racing driver when you put a helmet on, put it that way. I know he's nervous. He plays on this track all the time. It's my first time here in many, many moons, so he should be nervous. We're getting really competitive. We probably do need a lid on. And this MX-5 moves around. It's on budget tires and it's only got 124 horsepower, but my God, this thing does, does enough have some energy. It's that typical MX-5 thing though, where you've got ridiculous amounts of body roll. Whoa! <laughs> and then you've got this beautiful neutral balance. It's very pointy, but then it sort of wallows. It doesn't, it sort of gets tucked in and then the car just starts to work a bit of a wallow. Big slide, big slide. Here he comes. Ooh! Ooh, I see that, I see that. That was a bit twitchy. <laughs> no, we're all right, we're hanging on. I feel confident though, but also at the same time, I'm absolutely terrified because Yanni knows his way around the car. And in particular, he's got this insane level of bravery on corner entry. He just breaks ridiculously late. And I don't like that. I like coming in a bit smoother. Looking very good out there, Sam. Very, very good, mate. Give him more confidence. I'm just messy. Oh my God. Big old slide, leave some tire, Sam. Crunchy. Okay, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Now slow it down. Woo, are those my tire marks there? That's impressive. It's like an F1 star. Come forward, <laughs> come forward, come forward. Look at, look at me, look at me. Come forward, come forward. Stop. Okay, now go back plate. a bit. Oh, back a bit. Hang on a minute, oh, no, I no, saw no. that. <laughs> stay as you are, stay as you are. <laughs> Please start your engine, sir. Oh, thank you, thank you. Very appropriate. Right, that has to work the walkie-talkie. Check, check I'm in first gear. Yeah, yeah, that's first. Right, you ready? Good, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Three, two, one, go. Oh, rubbish start, rubbish start. Here we go. Oh, that gearbox didn't like that. He's very nervous, doesn't he? Panic, panic, panic. Oh, no. That wasn't a good corner. Oh no, I've got to make that time up now. That looked very slow on the first bend, mate. Just saying, just saying. Come on, MX-5. Tidy, Sam, tidy. Oh, 25 seconds in. Oh my God, front wandering, front wandering. Hearing a lot of tire screech, mate. Fourth gear. Oh my God, brakes. I've understeered off. Oh no, I've lost a lot. And it's only one chance, yeah? You only get one chance. That could be the end of my lap. That was a big understeer moment. Do you know what? It's so much quicker without Jan being in the car. That's what's throwing me off. I'm arriving everywhere quicker. Some minutes gone. I'll tell you what, I could just cruise round 10 to two, mate, driving Miss Daisy. Oh, we've had a big wobble. Big wobble, big understeer. Oh no! Ooh. Twitchy, twitchy! I've screwed this up, guys. I'm not feeling good with this lap. I like to be fair, so I'm gonna be fair. Bang on, as soon as he hits it, I'm gonna hit stop. Come on, MX-5! Come on, MX-5! Come on! Ah, oh, that was one of the scruffiest laps I've done all day. Well done, mate. Well done. Well done. Well done. Slow that car down and let it cool down for me. 135.72. To be fair, I think I pushed it a little bit too soon. I think it was more like 136, but give, give him some help. Just make sure when you watch him back that he does the same thing for me, yeah? That was not a good lap. Well, maybe it was. I don't know. It didn't feel good. It didn't feel good. It was a lot of mistakes. Oh, man. Not happy at all. <laughs> it was just loose. It did look a little bit loose out there, I'll be honest with you, mate. Did you, someone must have come around and sprayed a load of WD-40 on the circuit. We're in the results business, mate, not the excuses. 
All right, well, it's in one piece, and it was just, honestly, the further around the lap I went, the looser and looser it got, so the tires are shot. Basically, I, yeah, yeah, get the violin out. It, I basically, I overdid it on the warm-up, and I, I cooked it, I cooked it. Little MX-5 wasn't happy with that, but stayed on track, just about. <laughs> Do you know how he's still talking? <laughs> Do you know, you know, it's you know it's excuses, nervous. it's excuses. You're still it's excuses, talking, you're right. still running. Well, well, get in the car, oh, come wait, on. Wait, wait for my lid. I'll give you this. Oh yeah, your lid's coming around. I'll give you this. Thank you. Okay, Yours we're is not going to tell you the time. Oh God. Okay. And you know what a good time is, roughly. And I was very fair, yeah? The team behind the scenes oh. were very, they saw me, I started it back I off, am fair. And I think I even stopped it just before you even hit the line. So I gained so, probably a thousandth then, thank so you for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe a little bit more. All right. Right. Let's Jeez. go. I've set the bar very low, mate. Very low with those oversteers. So look at that grin. Such an annoying grin on that face right now. <laughs> I haven't even said anything, mate. I'm just, I'm just excited to race around your home circuit. I'm a, I'm a visitor here. Treat her nicely. I will. Let's do it. Please don't. <laughs> He's going to go for his practice laps now. Is this your warm-up? You're going to do a practice start? All right, let's see this. Come on. <laughs> the cheeky look. Oh, come on. It's the confidence that it gets to you. Let's warm up the car. Let's go nicely. He is quick as well. The problem is, is he's got bags of confidence into the corners. You would think for somebody who drives a massive four-wheel drive with loads of tyre, to jump in something like that, he'd be a bit nervous and, you know, not fling it around so much. But no, it's the complete opposite. Nicely does it. Nicely does it. Gravel trap, Yanni. Aim. Woo! Twitchy! Twitchy! Hard on the brakes, second gear. Ah! This is the scary bit, it's quiet now, as he made it round the bend. So this is where I fluffed up now, this was a big oversteer. Oh my god, look at that! Oh! oh! <laughs> Nearly lost it. Oops. He's good on the last turn now as well. That was where he was. Oh, he's understood a bit there. He's understood a bit there. Okay, that gives me hope. That was a bit, that was a bit of things. So the first half of the track, I was really good there. Yeah, I enjoyed that. So let me just, let's not kill the car. Let's just take it easy. Do you know what lost me this, if I lose? It was the rock, paper, scissors. That's what lost it. From then on, downhill. Am I lined up? You're not, no, bit further forward. How are you feeling? A bit further, right. bit further, bit further, bit further, bit further, bit further. Stop. That's it. That's it. Perfect. See, I'm fair. I feel all right. However, the first first round was really good, and then towards the second part, it's a bit like, oh. Yeah, so. it gets loose on you, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You took it too far on that night out, and then it gets a bit wavy. Yeah, it's very familiar stuff. Right. Well, I've got the stopwatch ready. All right. Five, four, three, two. Come on. Come on. Lot of tyre smoke. That is not going to do his tyre temperatures good, so I'm a bit more optimistic now. Put to the floor, foot to the floor. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, all the way, all the way. Oh, you can see his head. He's nodding as well. <laughs> don't lift off, don't lift off. Come on. He looks fast. He looks quick through that chicane up there and then through the right. He looks rapid. Don't lift off, don't lift off. Don't lift off. Come on. Ooh. Oh, crashed. Oh. oh, he spun. He has spun. Oh, I'm going to keep going, though. I'm going to keep going. I can't believe I did that. He has fluffed the lap. There is a guard. Oh, I don't know whether they know I've come off, though. So let's see. That's good news. Sorry. No, uh, Jan. Oh, man. Uh, Yanni, are you all right? Let's see. Come on! Still a quick lap time though. 117 to be around there. I mean, in a little MX-5, 124 and a bit of horsepower. <laughs> oh, and he's quick round there. He's quick round there. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. That's a good time. That was a good time. I bet I look good on camera though. <laughs> Cut some grass. 
Yeah, that is still a good time. He must have not had a proper spin. It must have been a slide. So it looked like a spin from here, but that time is good. <laughs> oh my God. But listen, I continued going. I went round, didn't stop. Probably slowed me down by what, 10, 15 seconds, maybe. I saw a slide, but then I didn't see a slide. I went through the three stages of like, you know, euphoria, terrifying bit of euphoria. Did I slide? Did you have a big slide there? There's a slide and there's a slide. Um, yeah, I came off. <laughs> However, I didn't Your stop. Your time is quick as well. That's why I was still. Really? I, I mean, it's a good time. Listen, I slid, I spun round. And you just and kept I continued in continued going. What did you do with the gears? Did you chuck it back in second? I just second dropped in the second gear and just continued. <laughs> I thought, you know, I'm going to keep going. So I didn't actually come to a stop. So I'm thinking I might have lost maybe. 20 mile an hour or so. 10 yeah. seconds, maybe five to 10 if seconds. If you lost 10 seconds, then your lap time pace you should be doing Grand Prix racing. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on then. Let me, I, I need right, to see right, it. So right, I know right. what you I got. Don't know what, I don't know what I got. You yeah, go first one number, number at a time. And I'll go first number and we'll see, yeah? All right. Oh, so man. You're, okay. my first number? Well, technically zero, but zero one. <laughs> zero one. Okay, yours is one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. All right, your second number? My second number? Four. Three. Ah. Oh, the relief. Four. Five. Point seven. 0 0.72. 0 0.71. Dude, I mean, given that you spun and given that you've done about a 25th <laughs> times 100 of the lap, rapid. Let me see. I'm relieved I've kept my job. So I was nine seconds behind you. With a spin. With, with a full blow. And you reckon you lost 10 seconds. That's fighting talk. There you go, 10 seconds, so there it is. Bit of a rematch, shall we say? Well, you're pretty good at drifting, so uh, why don't we make that our next challenge? I think so. I think a drift would be a little bit different, yeah. And then yeah. we don't care about the tyres. Don't care about them, it's the whole point. You're naturally, and, and myself as well, we both had some big slides. Yeah, I, I'll be honest, I really enjoyed it. It's, it's really, good, really it? nice here. The track's great, the weather was great, and it is a lot of fun. I'd rather do it, I'm not gonna lie, in a faster car. <laughs> How dare you? But that was... <laughs> How dare you? With less rust. With less rust, yeah. I mean, you know, it was bought for the purposes of having fun on track, so, and it does that brilliantly. And I'm, I've had a massive laugh. I think you've had a laugh. I could see your grin the whole way round. It was yeah. bouncing off the reflections. I thought there was another sound. I, can't, I just can't wait to watch back the footage of me spinning around and the grass coming up everywhere <laughs> at me. And I'm like, <laughs> trying to drive through and stuff. But thank you. I appreciate uh, thank it. Thank you. Um, I've had so much fun. And I think we've properly christened the Cinch Rockingham Raceway. All right, well, the next one, I think we're going to do a bit of drifting. Yeah. And let us know, what else would you like to see? Obviously, we're going to do drifting. We've done this. What do you think would be cool between me and Sam, head to head? Stuff that I'm going to be good at, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I've already lost one nil. Till the next one. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. Later, guys. See you soon.